This video is brought to you by the Soundcord Liberty Air 2 headphones. They're currently having a limited time 10% discount. Head down to the description to learn more. The music industry is in a very different state than how it's ever been. Majority of pop stars that get discovered aren't getting scouted at talent shows and singing competitions like they used to. Label scouts are finding the best new talent right here on the internet. Just take a look at the most successful acts of 2019. It was either Lil Nas X who bought a $30 beat and made the biggest song of the year, or Billie Eilish who made her debut album in her childhood bedroom. We are currently a part of a generation where not only is the internet raising us, but it's the place where we can make opportunities for ourselves we wouldn't get otherwise. It makes you wonder what major pop star is just one click away from being the next big thing. If I had to put in my bets for who will take in that title for 2020, I'd give it to Conan Gray. Often referred to as the internet king, Conan has had continual success on the YouTube platform, but it's his transition to mainstream pop music that has made him an artist to watch. Conan's idyllic world may look like one built on privilege and money, but his past tells a different story, a story filled with hard work and perseverance. Let's get into it. Conan was born in San Diego, California on December 5, 1998. His mother is of Japanese descent and his father is of Irish. When Conan turned one, him and his family packed their bags and moved to Japan to take care of his dying grandpa. When they moved back to America, Conan's parents got a divorce. Thus, the incessant moving around different homes began. Both of his parents individually dealt with financial ups and downs. And it was those financial hardships that led to a toxic household filled with uneasiness and abuse. Due to the tough living conditions, Conan found peace in his art. He was drawing and singing as an escape from his reality. Conan's family eventually settled down in Texas, where he would spend the rest of his preteen and teenage years. In sixth grade, Conan was given a camera which started his YouTube journey. His initial posts would be things that traditional YouTubers would post challenges, comedy skits, trendy tags. As he continued with his YouTube career, we got to see life through Conan's eyes. A world where vintage items, thrifted garments, and dreamlike adventures were the makings of a boy from a small town with nothing else to do. I remember watching his uploads in my senior year of high school. Each time I got a notification, I knew I was getting a dosage of serenity and peace. You could tell the attention to detail he put in his video. And as he continued to upload, his audience grew larger and larger. While all of his content was superb, it was his stripped back dreamy covers to popular songs that gained substantial popularity. The accumulation of covers led to his original song that took off, Idle Town. It was a song recorded on a crappy microphone and an even crappier camera. The song that was a tribute to his senior year of high school caught the attention of major record labels scurrying to sign him. While all of this was happening, Conan was more worried about getting into his dream college, UCLA. After being waitlisted, he eventually got in, as well as signed to Republic Records. The trial and tribulations of his past were finally starting to pay off. Conan released his extended play, Sunset Season, on November 16th of 2018. It was one of my favorite releases of that year. In a world where every pop song is about relationships or partying, it was nice that his EP was for the kids who couldn't relate to that. My personal favorites off the project would be Crush Culture and The Lord Inspired Generation Y. Just this week, Conan released his debut album, Kid Crow. It was a long time coming, but I think it was worth the wait. There's a good collection of upbeat pop songs and slowed down alternative rock songs. Lyrical themes surround his high school crush that never liked him back and his abusive childhood. My personal favorites off this project were Maniac, Heather, and Comfort Crowd. I take a lot of pride in being a part of Generation Z. I like that the pop stars of my generation aren't being built in huge studios and that they're actually coming right out of their bedrooms. Past pop stars always had to act perfect, and when they could no longer handle that pressure, they ended up cracking. 
Conan isn't acting like anyone aside from himself. His music is a looking glass right into his life. And he's a great representation that if you work hard enough, you can make it out of any toxic situation you're in. If you haven't heard Conan's debut release, you should really consider listening to them on the Liberty Air 2 headphones. These headphones are made with diamond-coated drivers and four built-in microphones to give you the best listening experience. These headphones are also budget-friendly, retailing for $99 compared to the $150 Apple AirPods. They also give you double the amount of playtime, going up to 7 hours after a charge wirelessly or with the cord. Get 10% off your order for a limited time when you head down to the description now.